What's up everybody, BD Pax here, and today we're in for an exciting vlog. First, I'm gonna go to Walmart, do a quick check, see if there's anything there. And then we're gonna head to my local card shop uh, because I need some cash. So I'm gonna try to sell some stuff and maybe I'll pick up some packs there and we'll open up a couple during this vlog. We'll see, but then we're gonna transition to tomorrow because the Dallas card show is on and we're gonna go check it out. I'm only gonna be there for one day, but we're gonna see what we can find. We're looking for a Luka Doncic Revolution rookie or maybe some like small like Herbert rookies, but mostly I'm looking for that Luka Doncic Revolution rookie. So that's tomorrow. Before I can do that, let's head to Walmart and my local card shop and see if we can find anything. All right, we're at Walmart. This Walmart's pretty cool because they don't just leave their cards out and about. They actually have, make you go to service and then they will handle all that. So I've actually noticed that cards seem to last a little bit longer after they're stocked here. So it's been about two weeks since their last big stock. So I'm hopeful that today there will be something, but you know, can't know until you find out. So let's go look. <laughs> success as you guys saw we walked in right when the vendor was coming in so it was just perfect perfect timing and there was nobody there which is amazing so this is i think this is definitely my spot and if i come at this time every other week i think i think i'll be good i think i finally solved my retail issue but i'm pretty i'm pretty excited about this all right so we got a cup three got three blaster boxes the first one is an nba hoops their winter edition, which I thought was interesting that it's, you know, coming out in March, but you know, oh well. Then we also got NFL Blaster for Optic, which is always a win. And then lastly, we got a Select for Baseball 2020, which I thought was super interesting. So I guess Select, it really is gonna be a retail product now, which is really exciting. So that's pretty cool. Now on to my local car shop to get some, make some more deals, hopefully. All right, we just pulled in my local card shop. I don't think I will be buying anything just because we have our boxes from Walmart now. So that's really nice. But again, if I see something, then yeah, I'll make a deal, figure it out. Uh, but I'm definitely dropping off some stuff to put on my eBay site or on their eBay site through my name or if they want to straight up just trade me for so that I can have some cash for tomorrow's Dallas card show, which I'm super excited about. So let's go ahead and go in there. All right, I don't film a lot in there just because I don't know. I never really like talk to them about my vlogging, so I don't know how they feel about me filming in shop. Um, so if you're ever curious why, that's my reasoning. But we did get a single pack of NBA Revolution. Nothing crazy. Like I said, I wasn't really gonna spend that much. So we'll see if we can get something out of this. Maybe not. We're starting off with a Kemba Walker. Um, there's something. Oh, did we get? Okay, I thought for a second we got a, a Galactic. Uh, we got Kemba Walker, Gordon Hayward, Markel Fultz, and a Cosmic 56 out of 100 of Ajeski Pud. Vitsky, I don't know how to say this name, and Tyrese Maxey, which isn't bad. So these Revolution cards look absolutely amazing. I do love Revolution cards, which is why we're going to go to the Dallas card shop and try to find a Luka Doncic rookie card. And that journey starts right now. And we are back and I'm about 17 minutes away from the Dallas card show, which isn't actually in Dallas. It's in Allen, Texas. Fun fact, some DFW area geography for you. But I just stopped by at a, a local card shop in Dallas called Nick Sports Cards. Uh, they've been here for like 32 years, which is awesome. Um, I stopped there because I have a ton of, I like going to these guys because they're not my main local card shop, but if I have a ton of cards that I just need to get like rid of that don't really necessarily have that much value and I don't really want to list it, 
these guys never say no. They always like take my trade credit. They always give me some type of trade credit. And today I was able to get rid of a huge chunk of my collection that, that just doesn't have like values. I'm talking like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of just like base rookies that really maybe in a few years will have some value, but right now don't. And I was able to use that trade credit for a Revolution hobby box. So I'm really excited to open this up. This is amazing. Um, so that video is gonna come soon. But now we are on my way, we are on our way to the Dallas card show and I have goals of getting a Luka Doncic Revolution card. That's really the my only purpose of this card show for one day. My sole purpose is just that Luka Doncic Revolution card shop. So I, bought, I also got this as like a good omen for hopefully we can find that because Revolution is my absolute favorite uh, hobby box for basketball. I, I absolutely love it. I think it's so cool. I love the parallels and I do pretty well. I mean, if you want to check out the description below, I the last time I opened a Revolution hobby box, I pulled an incredibly rare Kobe Bryant autograph. Uh, so it's a special product to me. So hopefully I do find that rookie card and hopefully um, it's just a good experience. All right, we made it to the parking garage. <laughs> so I'm walking over to the event now and this parking garage is crazy full so I'm expecting large crowds already and this is an early entry point so I'm not even going during the actual timing this is an early entry so it's pretty wild um, we'll see if we can find anything uh, again I'm looking for Luka Doncic uh, revolution rookie I'm hopeful I have some trade. That's what I'm really trying to do. I'm trying to like trade for it. So I'm hopeful that I can achieve that. I basically have a Kyle Murray Obsidian Electric Yellow for trade. Um, some other stuff. I have Donovan Mitchell Prism PSA 9. Just some stuff that I'm hoping will work as bait. But yeah, like I said, it already looks absolutely insane. I'm comfortable because I am vaccinated. So if you can't get your vaccination, get your vaccination. That's the only reason why I'm here and why I'm comfortable here, even with a mask. So yeah, let's go ahead and go inside and see how crazy this actually is. We did it, 1,000 subscribers. That's just absolutely mind-boggling. Mind I'm incredibly thankful. And I just, seriously, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much for helping me, believing me, getting me to this point. It truly means the world. Now, on to the part where I know most of you guys are waiting for. Uh, who's gonna win this massive book of NBA 1920 rookie cards? It's 508 rookie cards, which is absolutely insane. And I'm just giving it away to one of you guys. And the winner, congratulations to nman52. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate all your support and all your love. And 
I seriously, guys, to all of you, thank you guys so much. Stay subscribed. I'm going to do more giveaways in the future. And this is just the beginning for this channel. So thank you guys so much. And that is a wrap on Dallas Card Show for me. Maybe I'll come back in May, do a few days there. Uh, but today I was just in and out. I wanted one thing. I wanted to look around and I looked for the Luka Doncic Revolution card. And I found, I didn't expect to get a 10, but we made a deal. Uh, the exact uh, details of the deal was the Kyler Murray upsetting out 25, the Donovan Mitchell PSA 9, and then $100 uh, cash. So I think it deal-wise, maybe I gave in a little bit more, but the reality was I spent so long looking in every inch of that, and I was trying to go through that room as quickly as possible. Just because there were so many people, and to be honest, a lot of people weren't really following COVID, weren't really taking it too seriously. And I am vaccinated, so I felt safe, but it even, to, even to me, it was still kind of uncomfortable. So I was trying to go as quick as I can, find what I needed, and then get out. And I literally found one person who sold uh, this card in general, and he had two 10s, and then he had one 10 that was the Chinese New Year. But I didn't need that. I just wanted this one. And I'm glad I found it. So I didn't expect to get a PSA 10, but I did. Um, so that was really cool. I did also make a second deal. Uh, this was a smaller deal. This was just pretty much like a straight up trade for a Luka Doncic uh, Rookie of the Year Panini contender. So this is a rookie card. Um, it looks like it's in pretty good condition. Um, so, I mean, its corners are somewhat soft, but it's okay to me. Uh, I've been trying to complete a Luka Doncic rookie collection of at least one from every uh, product, at least retail-wise. So now I have one from Contender. So that really only leaves me with status and threads, which aren't too hard to find. I have all the tough ones. And if I maybe one day I'll do one from every product from 2018, 2019, that'll be pretty difficult. That leaves me with like Obsidian and Chronicles. Chronicles may not be too hard, but Obsidian would be hard, I think. Um, and then maybe a couple other ones. But yeah, for right now, that's my Dallas Car Show experience. That's the wrap on this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe. And if you went to Dallas Car Show and you're going again in May, let me know and maybe we can do a meetup. We'll see what vaccinations look like and how the Dallas cases are. And maybe we will do like a pretty cool meetup. So thank you guys again. And I'll see you guys next time.